copy signature is right in the middle, really big. It's, it's a cool document, and in a year and a half, you'll see it yourself. Yeah. What was John Hancock again? He was the president of the Con Second Continental Congress and was from Massachusetts. Now, what were the reactions to the Declaration of Independence? I'm going to give you three different reactions, okay? So you really have three ways to react. How are you going to react? Yeah, baby! Or either way, okay? The Patriots, also known for the first time as Whigs, W-H-I-G-S, rejoiced at the news of Declaration of Independence. So the Patriots are also called Whigs, rejoiced at the news of the Declaration of Independence. Loyalists, now called Tories, refused to join in the celebration of independence. These are people in the United States, in America. These aren't people in Britain, these are Americans. So you've got the Patriots, also known as Whigs, rejoicing at the news. You've got the Loyalists, who've now been given the term Tories, refusing to join. And then you have those people that greeted the news of the Declaration of Independence with indifference. Not much concern either way. Now, what type of people were Tories? Think about them. Who were the Tories? Who were the Loyalists? What type of people were they? What were their, what were their jobs? What did they do? So what's that, Ivan? Well, no, we'll get off that deal. They had a job, actually. What, what do you think their jobs were? What were, the, what were Tories? And the reason they called Tories is because Patriots considered them traitors. But what kind of people were they? Were they the scum of the earth, begging for food in the streets of Boston? No, they were rich. Okay, they were mainly merchants, or wealthy landowners, or lawyers, or many were church leaders, and many were former officers serving the King of England. So your Tories, or your loyalists, were included wealthy merchants, wealthy landowners, lawyers, church leaders, and former officers of the king. Okay, that will end our lecture for this test material. So, what we're going to do is we're going to have a review tomorrow. I'm going to give you an assignment today and a review tomorrow. We will meet in the Commons Thursday for the test.